Welcome back. My A86 is basically done, but the 30-year-old engine harness and ignition system never really worked that well, and it kept having uh, faults and not wanting to start and run right and so on. So I'll be building a complete new engine harness, um, paired up with the Speduino ECU, and new injectors, coil unplugs, and so on. I'll start off with a stock engine harness and locate and tag all the things I need for the new harness. Then I'll trace it out on a piece of MDF uh, to get the length and where the harness needs to branch out. That being done, um, I now have a basic layout of the new harness. And having planned out what I need and where it goes, I can start putting down some wire. First of all, I'll make sure I have everything I need on the board, uh, otherwise it's easy to add along the way. This is the connectors from the new uh, coil on plugs. I'll be reusing the pigtails on these. And as these are four uh, wire uh, types, I'll get rid of the check wire as it won't be needed uh, that. I'll go into detail about the three and four wire types and what type of uh, coil on plugs I'm using later on. And on the subject of removing wires from the stock connectors, I also only need three wires for the throttle position sensor, as the stock Toyota also has an idle switch and that won't be needed. And that is one of the great things with this uh, Speduino uh, ECU. You can basically run all of your old hardware, uh, throttle position sensor, temp sensors and so on, as long as you know what kind of signal, uh, signal you need for them. Um, having made a few sub-harnesses over the years, uh, I always wanted to try and to make, uh, make it a little better and nicer. And I'll try to make this one uh, into a seal.
All right, new day. Back into the funhouse that is engine wiring. I started putting on the DR25 crimp and I'll just put on the last ones. Here you see the first branch of uh, the harness. It needs to be sealed and for that I arrange the crimps and put on a bigger sleeve that allows it to seal on top of the branched out pieces. done with that part the harness um, had crimps on the connectors and is basically done with the engine side So turning my attention to the interior side and getting the power uh, sorted, uh, fuses, grounds, basically all the needs for powers and signals. And pretty much done and ready for testing and fitting. So I pull out the old engine harness uh, of the car. And now, without the old ignition system on there, it looks so much cleaner, but the rusty exhaust manifold kind of bugs me, so I'm just gonna do a quick stainless heat shield around that for now. Mucho better.
Then the MDF sheet pretty much served its purpose. You can remove it, uh, remove the nails and put it somewhere if you need a template for another harness at some point. Then onto the new ignition setup. I'm gonna be running a crank trigger, a missing tooth and hall effect center. I'll be using a 36 to 1 missing tooth. That's a wheel with uh, 10 degree increments between teeth and one of the 36 teeth missing. Um, I'm running it on the crank pulley and having both pulley and sprocket machined uh, to fit and to be centered. This is the old distributor setup. I basically it basically runs off the exhaust cam, both telling the ECU where the engine is on its rotation and physically distributing the spark signal from the ignition coil to the spark plugs. and old injectors compared to new, the new ones having much finer spray pattern and better atomization than the old ones, also being high ohm as uh, they don't require so much current to run. The throttle position sensor, this being a four wire, um, as the stock Toyota has, as I said before, an idle switch that won't be needed by the Speedoino. So as to why I only run three wires in the connector. The crank trigger, in this case a Hall effect type, as the Speedoino needs a conditioned signal either on off, like the Hall uh, will do, or conditioned through a VR module. I run a Hall sensor supplied with a 5 volt supply from the ECU and using a 1 uh, kilo ohm uh, pull up resistor in between the signal and supply. And as you can see the sprocket is turned down on a lathe and so is the pulley to make a tight fit and this will be welded later on. Then on to the COP, so coil on plugs or whatever, which is basically an ignition coil on top of the spark plug lead. I was planning on running the 3 wire uh, 350C ones, but the length was much better on the 4 wire Toyota 1UC, so I went with them. As long as it's smart coils, you can use them, um, and you only need the 3 wire, um, so this check return is needed for the ECU. And then it's time to start testing the setup. I'm running the ground together to the negative terminal on the battery and the power supply to the positive terminal with the switch acting as ignition. Then plugging in the ECU. Talking to myself. Then just Digging around with the setup, uh, checking that inputs match and are calibrated.
and next time I'll be going a little more into detail about the wiring used, the coloring, um, how you set this up. I'll be putting it in the car, hopefully, and um, trying to see if I can get it started. So stay tuned for that and remember to subscribe.